What is going on guys, this is Core of Dane here, and welcome back to Alan Wake 2, the final draft. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them. Or was protecting him from Nightingale? I'm in his combustion. I don't know what. Not the kind of disappearance we normally saw. Our crime scene's drowning. I never minded rain. Feels like home. No sign of Nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. After we find Nightingale, what then? I've never arrested a monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. Light worked against him at the morgue. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. Monsters? Overlaps? Rituals? What do you make of all of this? Mm -hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved. Forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive... The word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. We need to look around. Learn what this ritual is. Hmm. We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. Good eye. Uh, let's see here. Looks like somebody knocked the bottle over. Hmm. Bare feet. Nightingale. I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case? On it. If anything comes up, I'll radio you. Roger, roger. That's... Let's see... Not that one. Uh, this one. There's that one, and cases. Cauldron Lake. Let's see if there's anything else around here. I don't think there's anything else. I know there's a um, thing over here, though. A campsite, I think, over here. Was this way? Yep, there's those Easter eggs. It's here. Well, I thought I could open that, but nope. So manuscripts and that, yeah, manuscript fragments. Um. Gotta go back up. Gotta check the convenience store. Head up this way. Yeah, it's this way. Kinda get lost in this dark ass forest. <laughs> Hey, Casey, what's the forest's favorite shape? A triangle. Yes, you do. Hmm. Can't get in there. At least not yet, at least. Hmm. It was 
this way? I can't remember. I'm trying to remember the ways here. Because I know I have to um, find a witch's hut. Because I could go from there. Because that'll be my first safe spot. If I can activate it. So I can't do nothing with it right now. Unfortunately. There's his footprints. The tracks lead into the water. Where'd you go from here? I can feel something. A presence. <sighs> Gotta love him. Got to there. love him. Fucking jump scares. <laughs> Always oh, seem to get me. I will quick slot that to down here for now. Okay, um, I have a profiling. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. Seems like it's reacting to the light. These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. It was covering another page. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. The fuse was in place. She found it among the junk in the forest. Saga stepped inside the witch's hut. Something rushed through her. A presence. Familiar. She couldn't quite place it. Something long forgotten. She tried to hold on to it, but it was already gone. Inside, a bright light. Saga felt safe, like nothing could hurt her here. There were objects that stood out to Saga as if the light had manifested them, pulled them from the darkness. A shift in reality, heavy with hidden meanings. A coffee thermos, a shoebox, a mop and a bucket, a poster on the wall, and in the cabinet, another manuscript page. So I got my next destination, the witch's hut. I can't remember now because I got to go to Witch's Hut, then go back to the um, diner place. Yeah, I remember. Uh, think I go this way. And climb up here. Somebody throwing shit down the hill here. This is the Witch's Hut. I thought I saw something in the woods. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Okay. I found this fuse is busted. This one looks good. People should really stop littering, though. Mm -hmm. I'll be able to finally save the game. Safe now. Another page. 
making progress. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. Okay. Uh, case board. I already took care of all this. The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some... Okay, that's done. <coughs> Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it? To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the... There's the key. We gotta find the heart. Script witch page. Ladle, towering over Saga, watching her and the witch. The image of the witch in the sign. Nightingale's heart, a cold, dead lump in her hand. Her definition of sanity had changed since she arrived in this town. But she trusted the pages. Was forced to. Saga addressed the witch. She squinted to read the first part of the ritual words. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. The word she had read on the page. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. This was the key. The tree was the threshold. All right. Oh yeah, I needed something here. Manuscript. I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Nightingale's heart. Where is? Yeah, we all know where it is. I need to check the general store for the heart. Casey, yeah. I'm headed to the general store. I think <coughs> I know how to get into the overlap. Uh, Roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. I'll find my way back, don't you worry about it. Alright. Save up. Third slot would be the heart difficulty, the final draft. Alright, scoop. So I had to go back to the general store, which I forget to save often. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. About this way. General store is right up here. Just right up here. I've never been this damn dark though. Takes up, buddy. A cultist, a monster, like Nightingale. <sighs> Jesus. Saga edged toward the broken door, her gun ready, flashlight aimed ahead. Nightingale said it would be here. The Cauldron Lake General Store was overgrown, left to rot. Saga thought about the cult of the tree. They'd been here, waiting, planning a gruesome ritual murder. Meanwhile, they played cards in the General Store, like it was just another late-night poker game. Saga stepped closer to the door. Had the animal broken it? There was a loud crash. Saga found herself face to face with a cultist, a hulking figure in a raincoat. We watch in the night, wild eyes behind a plastic deer mask, 
an axe in his raised hand. Hmm. I gotta remember. The shotgun's not here. I think I remember right. Um, we, I, we have all the guns. They are just in the, um, what do we call it? In the shoe box, which I forgot. <laughs> So we have all the guns, I think, already. Um, let's knock this down. Let's actually move this down. Let's move this down, too. The text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. And now I need to give the heart to the witch. Makes total sense. Casey, there are cultists in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay, okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. But it is exciting. Yeah, like I said, I don't know how I forgot them. Um... I think my weapons were placed in the shoelace, um, no, the shoebox. If I remember right, let's see here. Yep, everything's there. All my chains and everything. I forget which ones I was using, though. Adds one more charge to Saga's Lights, yep. This gives me increased maximum health. Increased quality and quality resources found. Increase effectiveness of painkillers and trauma pads. Increase time before darkness shields regenerates. And marks all nearby resources and points of interest on Saga's map. Don't really need it. Increase damage dealt when low health. Next amount of. Increase damage dealt. While undetected by his enemies. Um, I think I'll go with this one. And I will move these over here just so I have them. Carry my shotgun. There. Put a uh, flare. Move this flare over there too. So like I said, I'm not gonna have as much. I really don't have no ammo for this, so it's kind of pointless having that. Um, yeah, that'd be pretty good. Just trying to get this all organized here. Put my charms over here this time. I don't know if I'll get more because I don't have to do the um, thing. Uh, I don't think I'll have to do the nursery rhymes. At least I don't. I think I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Let me equip. I don't want to equip. I want to quick slot it. Quick slot it over here. Quick slot this up here. So let me pop my powerhouse. Uh, quick slot this. Over, I guess, over here, I guess. And I'll quick slot these over here. Alright, we're good. Down to the overlap.
Actually, let me... Since I have everything, let me make sure I save it up anyways. Just for the hell of it. Get this uh, saved up. Because <coughs> I'll have to organize this shit later. Something happens. It takes me back. Better safe than sorry. Yeah, they are tankier. That's for it, didn't you? It's a loop. Right. This place is looping. Like a nightmare. Yep. The writer went into the lake, banished the dark presence. Taken still lurked in the woods. The dark place receded. The current pulled back those with darkness inside. Into the lake. Nightingale was there. One of them. The dark presence. Jagger had taken him. The witch had stolen his heart. They sank beneath the waves. The dark place, wandering in the shadows, muttering to themselves. It's dark. I'm lost. Where am I? Who am I? I can't remember. It's cold. Premium cabins for rent in Bright Falls. Who said that? Can you hear me? I need help. Please, stop this. What did I do? You must dig it out. Their shape shifted. Echoes of the writer's dreams. Fading in, fading out. The next story and the story after that. The writer was writing again. Hmm. 
Let me get my flare. Ready to pop his ass. He shows himself. Have to go back this way. He's here, Nightingale. Dark uh, place, and these places are melting way too together. <laughs> ah, Jesus Christ. Gotta go. Uh, come on, give me some supplies. <clears throat> oh shit. He's behind me. I heard him. The hell off me.
Oh, you little bastard. Get off me. Get off me. Fucker. <clears throat> Take that. I don't think so. Finally. Whew. It was a tanky little bastard. the chapter. Let's just skip back cutscenes so like I said we've seen it. Continue. <laughs> Anders, where did you go? All of a sudden the radio stopped working and then that flooding disappeared. Crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Yep, there's a bunch of shit we gotta search. Alex Casey? How? Am I still... Is this... You should look around. With the flooding gone, could be further clues out there. I didn't, the flooding yeah, disappeared yeah. very suddenly. I don't know what the I hell that was about, but connection to the overlap to Nightingale. <laughs> yeah, since uh, some of the areas are well maybe seated, so we do actually collect a lot of things now. A creepy twig sculpture? The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't want to discard, I don't want to move that. Move this to this, and we're good. I am going to quick slot this, though. <clears throat> to that, because we need the flares. Whew. Um, yeah, because we gotta go towards the left side, if I remember right. Is there any path over here? That's so far, so good. I mean, not bad. When the first boss fight was, uh, 
I mean, it was a bit tanky, that's for sure. Normally, I would have the shitty shotgun sawed off and whatnot. But, uh, I mean, made do with what we got. We got it done. Ain't going up that way. Uh, where the hell's the path at? Um, hmm. Fucking flashlight is barely, like, working. I can barely see shit. <laughs> um, thanks for not going up this way. I, I can't remember the damn path. What the hell is, let me look at the map. Um, where am I? I'm down there. Oh, I have to go that way. Okay. Okay, over. Mm-hmm. And we got this whole area right here to search. <clears throat> There's a manuscript page just randomly on the floor there. I don't know if that's a new one or what, because I don't remember that being there. Hmm. Interesting. Container. Uh, hmm. Definitely have to search around this place. Uh, but yeah, we'll work our way around. Um, probably go this way and grab the manuscripts. Um, and then come back around. Locked door. Yeah. We'll do that. Also, I have this case board too. Nightingale goes missing for 13 years. Case closed. See how much trouble I come across when I uh, get up the hill here. Because I know there's probably shit waiting for me. Gonna be shit waiting for me. Yeah, I'm going the right way. There's the path I was supposed to go. <laughs> Feels like this flashlight's not working at all, barely. <laughs> So that's how you do that. I never did do the quick turning. Got you, you little bastard. The hell? Fuck off. It only heals me for a certain amount. Script. I don't know if it's a new one or not. I don't remember this one. Saga bent down to inspect the body on the table. Somehow it felt familiar. The straps, the heart, the mutilated corpse laying on the rain-soaked wood. Like deja vu. 
She chased the source of the feeling. Found nothing. None of the victims from her past cases resembled this one. It didn't feel like anything from her past. More like something from a dream. From a life she could barely remember. Maybe one that wasn't even hers. Then the feeling passed. Like a shadow in the trees shifting with the wind. Saga blinked. Shook the feeling from her head. She turned her focus back on the work. There was a lot to do. Casey and the deputy were watching her. She had a feeling this would be an exciting case. <laughs> well, she knew. What kind of shit she was going to be getting into. If I'm being quite honest. Um... Yeah. We're going to go back down there. Um, down here. This way, and go that way. More we'll cult shit. Another locked box. Yeah, I know where the key is. It's over here. There's also this too. Thank you. I'm gonna try to snipe those fucking dogs if possible. I get lost in this fucking dark ass forest sometimes. <laughs> so yeah, the bridge will be coming up pretty soon. I don't want this dead end. I, oh, yeah, I think there was something over here. This is a letter. See if these, um, what you would call it, still work. Nursery rhymes. I'll make sure I have a sniper out just in case. Just because I see any damn dogs. There's something written here. A poem? Or a riddle? A little clothespin doll. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. Alright, what do we got? Reminds me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she One was little. One bird for two. One bird for lights. Something feels different. I should look around. A charm. Cute. It'll go great on the bracelet Logan made for me. Hmm. Huh. That was strange. Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. Shit. Christ. Is that a tanky little fucker? <laughs> I let the other guy know it or what? Oh, 
Oh, now he's dead. <clears throat> and he dropped two goody things for me. Thank you. I'll t gladly take those. So, which finder's station? We've reached the car, Anderson. How's it going down there? I think I'm done here. I'll meet you at the parking lot. I got a manuscript. I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? In my experience, they don't. We're not seeing the full picture yet. Another one of those rhymes. Hmm. Let me see here. Let me take some of these pills. I always like to keep a little topped off a little bit. Place is dark as hell. Oh, so that manuscript I gotta read. An overlap of the dark place needed a push from both directions to manifest itself. Reality in our world eroded by repeated dark lore tied to a location and a counterpoint. A work of art, a horror narrative crafted in the depths of the dark place, connecting to the story on the other side to reach out through the weakened veil. A story of a lawman whose heart was cut out of his chest. Two corrupt men killed by their own twisted ambition. A haunted old woman drowned in a bathtub. Twisted reflections on the other side of the mirror. Arcs stabbing through realities, amplifying the influence of the dark place. These elements working in conjunction made a trickle that became a torrent, a wormhole, a vortex, and the art, Games. the map, became the nightmare territory where the dark place encroached on our reality, a blanket over it, where they all overlapped, causing reality to twist and loop like a bad dream, remolding anything and anyone within its dark horror design. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind <clears throat> me of a dream I had. <clears throat> That's random stuff. Yeah, the back door's wide open. I'd rather not have that open. Let's check upstairs. Some weird, creepy shit around here. Let me see here. Also, gotta check the case board. Cases. Why am I only over here? Holy shit. Um. That's good. Cult stashes. Creepy dolls. Mysterious rhymes. Yep. Got a lot of these things. Oh shit. <laughs> Nope. All right, cauldron. Creepy doll, creepy doll. <clears throat> oh. 
put these somewhere. And the last creepy doll. Symbols. All right, good. Let's go back down. Let's see if we could do it as nursery rhyme. What is this? The hero is brave and strong. Strong. Um, left home to right a wrong. From the woods came the wolf, so greedy and hungry. So wolf, um, um, uh, that he ate and f what he found in the house without a host, turned to find lost the thing she loved most. Um. That's not right. No. There we go. I have a weird feeling something's changed. What is this? Oh, damn. Footprints. Lenny upstairs to, you know what? Another charm for my bracelet. Yep. It's the one that saves me from dying. <laughs> Which I guess will be good for this, uh, kind of difficulty. Yep. Okay, time to get the hell out of here. Did enough around here. Messed around enough. Go this way. Do 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 Because I could actually get another uh, thing. This one has a lot. Yeah. Don't have a screwdriver for that, unfortunately. Thing right there. Another one with a lock on it. There's another weird shadow shit going up here. Hmm. I get this gin going. And we have a safe zone. There's a rhyme over here. Another nursery rhyme. Let's see what this one is. Uh, a mother crow sits in her nest. This in the crow. Actually, no. That would be home. Uh, crew. Okay. Guarding her babies, doing her best. Actually, no. That would be over here. Crow. Um, to protect her home from the beasts coming. Uh, but, uh, uh. Beasts coming. But only a brave hero can. Hmm. I don't know if that's right. Uh, let me... Crow, Ugh. wolf, babies. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't look right. No. Thanks, oh. Saga. Keep trying. To, trying to remember. Um, Mother Crow sits in her nest. In her nest, okay. Um, guarding her babies, doing her best. That'd probably be over here. Um, to protect her home from the beast coming. Uh, nope. Nah. That's not right. Thanks, Saga. Keep trying. Try to remember here. 
No. Hmm. Nah. What's it's this one? There we go. Uh. I remember this one. It's a werewolf down here. Gotta get my sniper out. It's over this way. Is, huh? Another charm. Good thing Logan made me this bracelet. And there you are, you little prick. Another pucker. Fuck you. Damn dog. <sighs> God damn it. Pop some pills. Call the doctor in the morning. Well, I'm going to go save it up. And I'm going to end it here for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, it's always appreciated if you leave a like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you wonderful people in the next parts. Peace.